No fewer than four home nations titles. And only Mark Selby has been as successful as that. And of course, he's also won this English Open 2021, pipped Neil Robertson to the title. And of course, Robertson bowed out earlier, a surprise loss at the hands of Sanderson Lamb. We've seen Luca Brussel squeak through against the new world junior champion and brand new pro Stan Moody in a cracking match just now here on table one. So this pair have an act to follow. Sean O'Sullivan standing in Trump's way. Take the first frame. Don't Trump to break. Of course, it's the best of seven, the first of four frames to go through to round two. Judd Trump breaking off in the first of those frames. In just their second meeting, their first for the record. Not terribly relevant to this evening, but 2015, the old European Tour, also over the best of seven, and Trump won on that occasion by four frames to two. O'Sullivan is a Londoner, now in his 30th year, first term pro back in 2012. Obviously, he's got a big task on his hands this evening, but what an opportunity, Joe Johnson, to show what he can do on television. Yes, and it's on the back of a, a 147 break that he made earlier on in the year, European Masters. So he can certainly play this young man. And that's a good start. I think he may just be on the black. Good long ball. That 147 that Joe mentioned there was against Barry Hawkins in a losing cause, as it turned out, but it was some break. The 15th black was an incredible shot. It was a ultra thin cut on the black into the right corner pocket with the rest and extension. Incredible pot. And then a really good pressure yellow from distance as well. So it was some break. Yeah, the black mate you mentioned, he played it with a lot of side on the cue ball. Number one to slow it down, and the other one to give himself some chance at the yellow. Yeah, superb black. That said, he hasn't won a match yet this season. In fact, in the Championship League, he didn't win a frame in his three matches. So it's been a disappointing start to the campaign. He lost narrowly in qualifying for the upcoming international championship to Jordan Brown, the former Welsh Thanks. Open champion, 6-5. Lost 5-3 to Matt Selt in qualifying for the Wuhan Open, which, of course, gets underway here on Eurosport on Monday. And a heavy loss to Ryan Day at the British Open. So probably Hi. coming into this match a bit low on confidence. And with that in mind, the last thing you need is a match with someone like Chad Trump who's won everything the game has to offer but it is an opportunity and if he could produce the goods this evening well that would be the boost that he's looking for to get his season underway after a sticky start currently ranked at 86 in the world he's been as high as 73 never further than the last 16 of a ranking event that was the Scottish Open, the first year of the home nations in 2016. 15. Well, I thought he could have played down for the red next to the black there. Freed the black. But nothing wrong with this plant. Go top side of the blue. Open the reds up. 22. So wide pack. Big target. Still got a couple of reds he could play for.
Don't forget to pop the blue. Now, does this red go next to the black? Because if it does, it could have took this red a couple of red a couple of strokes ago. Sometimes it's easy to do that. You're just concentrating on splitting the pack and you forget about the red. Yep, looks as though it will go. So I'm bemused why he didn't take it when he was on it. Touch. Chad Trump has 23 ranking titles. But he hasn't won one since the Turkish Masters in 2022 in the build-up to the World Championship. Of course, he won his second Masters, as we saw just now, ahead of this match. Terrific tussle with Mark Williams, the brand-new British Open champion. Only the one ranking final appearance last season, though. That was another thriller with Mark Allen, the World Grand Prix. Trump came back from 7-2 down to force a decider, and he had a chance in that decider as well before Allen eventually got over the line and then lost out to Anthony McGill in the first round of the World Championship. So it was a mixed season for Trump, really. There were times, I think, where he got a bit bogged down in matches, which has never been his way, and I think he's said already this season he wants to try and get back to playing the game on his terms. Yeah, just like that, knocking it a great ball. Well, that's two cracking pots from distance already from O'Sullivan this evening, which has got to give him some confidence. Absolutely in the middle of the pocket. But you can't afford to miss blacks off the spot. He'd done the hard work, got in with a great pot. Just caught that near angle and they stay out. So, first chance for Judd Trump. Aaron Wilson in the background there, watching on. He's up against Oliver Lyons on table two. You can watch all four matches underway on Discovery Plus, of course. Barry Hawkins, who has played some great stuff already this season. Of course, he beat Trump in the final of the European Masters. He's up against Anthony Hamilton. Packed house today in Brentwood. The venue sold out for the opening day and fantastic program of snooker. Ronnie O'Sullivan kicked us off at 1 o'clock with a 4-0 win over Andrew Padgett. John Higgins squeaked through against Marco Fu. Eight. Jack Lazowski also won. Ali Carter won. But Neil Robertson, of course, suffered a 4-2 loss to Sarnas and Lamb. And Sean Murphy has also gone out this evening to Lu Hong Yu. Yeah, he could have played for the black a couple of times, but with that red being near the black spot, he's kind of shied away from it. 21. Alan McManus was asking Judd Trump about how he thinks he's hitting the ball this season, and there have definitely been signs 22. already, and this is only the fourth ranking event of the new campaign, that Trump is playing something like his old self again. Yeah, maybe he's not putting himself under as much pressure when he won those six okay. tournaments in one year. It was a downward slide from there because he couldn't keep that kind of winning momentum up. So maybe he's just not expecting as much from himself now. 30. 
I also think his long potting has come back this season. That was something that maybe at times last season wasn't quite on point in the way it's been in the past. It's normally such an asset for him. But certainly signs already at the start of this campaign that 36. those long pots are going in again. 37. Yes, it does help when your opponent misses a black off its spot, though. Giving you an early chance. Nice little cannon there, developing those two reds. 43. 20 points, the difference. So it doesn't need the safe red on the cushion. Yeah, he had a good chance, knocked in a great long red. Sean O'Sullivan. So red colour red. 52. Another red after this black. And he should be safe. Well, he only had one chance, and he's done the business with that one chance. 50. Yeah, maybe a little switch to right-handed. Sean O'Sullivan knocked in a great red at the start of this frame and then another one having missed the blue going into the pack before missing the black off its spot and this is the result Trump being clinical and this is what the best in the world tend to do when you make a mistake they are ruthless 77 80 Opportunity for the century. 84. 89. He's already made 17 this season. By Trump standards, last season's return of 45 was quite modest. He's made 95. in excess of 900 for his career. <coughs> Make that 919. Judd Trump stepping in after Sean O'Sullivan had missed the black off its spot. Clinical snooker and a 1-0 lead. The first evening here at the Brentwood Centre, the first day of a brand new Home Nations season. The English Open well underway, and Judd Trump has started in impressive fashion, a break of 102. After Sean O'Sullivan had knocked in a couple of excellent reds, but missed a blue and then a black off its spot, and was punished heavily for that. First to four to go through, the winner to play Scott Donaldson in the round of 64. I'm not sure if he can see the edge of this red directly below the cue ball. No, he can't. So, trying to catch it. Oh, that's a tremendous shot. <laughs> Playing safe off the reds like that. Very cheeky.
Among the matches this evening on table four, Hamid Mia against Ricky Walden. It's one each there. Mia scored a fantastic win over Trump in last week's British Open on the final black. So that would have been a hurtful loss for Trump to come so close. All four tables in action. Just a reminder, you can watch it all on Discovery+. Plus. Take your pick of matches. And indeed, watch matches back from earlier in the day. But the thing about the calendar these days is that there's so much snooker, and Alan McManus referenced that in conversation with Trump ahead of this match, that you don't have time to dwell on your disappointments because there's a tournament almost every other week. Yeah, what a position to be in, really for top snooker players and those climbing the rankings. One good tournament and you're there, made for life. And no time to dwell on disappointments, just get on with it, come back, get practicing. Sometimes it does you good to lose early so you can practice for the next one. And it hasn't always been like that, of course. 13 years ago, there were only half a dozen tournaments on the calendar. And if you did suffer an early loss, you might have to wait months before you got a crack at redemption. So, similar kind of shot, just trying to land up to the red. Andrew Barklam is the referee in this match. Well, that looks pretty much where it was the first time around. He's not happy. don't think it makes much difference. He can hit where he wants to hit on, on the cushion. And all he's trying to do is land up to the red. Oh, what about that for a shot? Uh, he seems to have got his eye in Judd Trump. But this isn't a gimme. When he won the world title in 2019, dismantling John Higgins, who actually played well in defeat, beating him 18-9, some of the balls that Trump potted, took the breath away. Scarcely believable. You just could not hide the cue ball, and Higgins is better than almost everyone at doing that. Oh, but that said, a miscue. We saw a couple of those from Luca Brussel earlier. Yeah, well, both players strike the ball so low, it kind of invites the miscue. You've got to make sure that that tip is wholly covered in chalk. And you see players scrubbing at the tip, especially when they're playing a deep screw shot. But that's a real let off for Sean O'Sullivan. Now, will this red cut to the middle? It's a really thin one. Apparently not. Oh, he's fluked one. One. And he's bang on the pink to the corner. How 
expensive could that be? Take a look at the secondary nudge here of the cue ball off this red there. Just pushing the cue ball that much nearer to the pink. That was a very satisfactory outcome for Trump. Less so for O'Sullivan. Seven. Well, nothing you can do about those, Sean. Did nothing wrong, played Thanks. pretty good safety. Now the black, with all the spots taken, will go next to the pink. It will probably stop the pink going into the corner, but the black will go to both corners, unless there's a, a spot free, and there is. 15. So that keeps the pink free. Joint fifth in the all-time list of ranking event winners, Trump, alongside Neil Robertson, who, of course, has already departed this tournament. Mark Williams now has 25 after his hat-trick of British Open titles was completed last night, becoming the second oldest ranking event winner after Ray Reardon, who was 50 when he won the Professional Players Tournament in the 80s. And both uh, Williams and runner-up Mark Selby will be in action tomorrow here in Brentwood. Inch perfect each time he plays the shot. So easy to leave the cue ball straight on the blue when you play that kind of shot. But he's absolutely perfect. Made a competitive 147 break when he was just 14, Trump. 41. Made the big breakthrough in the professional ranks when he won the China Open on the eve of the World Championship back in 2011 and then, of course, knocked out the then defending champion Neil Robertson in the first round on his way to the final when he lost to John Higgins before avenging that loss in 2019 in such spectacular fashion. Oh, when he takes this red, if he does take the red by the pink spot, the pink will go back onto its own spot at some stage. Forty-nine. And this time he's short, which means the next red, the one that he's going to need, is not going to be easy. Just the red needed, though. Best O'Sullivan can do is tie the frame as things stand. Well, that will annoy him. It looked for all the world as though Trump was going to double his lead at that visit. Shows the value of getting top side of the blue, doesn't it? Just makes your next red that much easier. Well, it would have been end of frame. As it is, well, he needed blacks. He's made a mistake. I think he's only just realised. Anything other than a black, and he's going to need a snooker. Yeah. Bit of a brain freeze there, I think. Yes, it happens. 
Everybody's done it. Six. Well, may as well play for the pink now. Sixty behind with this pink to come, which isn't easy. Only fifty one left, so this surely has to go in. Test of queuing. Yeah, it wasn't easy. So Judd Trump missing frame ball red has proved not to be relevant. And Trump is in complete control here, fresh from the century in the opening frame. And that run just now, he doubles his lead and is halfway to a place in the next round. So far, so good for Judd Trump. He's dominated the table, century in the opening frame, another half century in the second, albeit helped by some good fortune at the start of that break. Sean O'Sullivan with it all to do. Yeah. He's lost all seven matches that he's played this season, so confidence unlikely to be sky high. And that's with a 147 break. I mean, shouldn't that give you confidence? Nothing gives you confidence like winning. Trump just managing to cover that red into the left corner. Cue ball's very close. Delighted. He was off the tour for three years, O'Sullivan, before getting back on at the start of the 2022-23 season by the Q Tour rankings. Well, no easy pot left, but nice easy safety if he decides to play it. The red near the bark line by the yellow, easy enough to play safe from. Just looking to see where he wants the cue ball. Well, decided to have a go at this long red. His long potting has been superb. Not today, not this shot anyway. And he's left a red to the right middle. Because he missed it thin, he's lost control of the cue ball. If he catches it thick and misses it thick, the cue ball stays by the black. Oh. That you've sold the pocket. Yeah, it looked for a moment as though that might lip out golf style, but happily for Trump, the break continues. Tremendous record, as mentioned, in the home nations. Of course, he won three consecutive Northern Ireland Opens in Belfast, beating Ronnie O'Sullivan in all three finals by a 9-7 scoreline. And it was that 2019-20 season, having won his maiden world championship, where he absolutely dominated. As Joe mentioned, that record-breaking six ranking titles, to achieve that in the modern era is extraordinary, really. The previous best was five. 
First done by Stephen Hendry and then Ding Zhong Wee, Ronnie O'Sullivan and Mark Selby as well. But to win six in a single campaign was special. But that red has eluded him. So the break ends earlier than expected for Trump. Yeah, I think as far as Stephen Hendry's concerned, winning five when there was only five, eight tournaments, say, that's them doing. But as you say, relief for Sullivan. a bit of luck here and my word did he get some cue ball all round the table and look where it's finished incredible and big problems here for Sean O'Sullivan how does he get this one safe got it much too thin and too hard and that cue ball, look at where it's going to finish. It never rains, but it pours. He could have done with a bit of luck there, but I don't think he's got any. I think he can get to this red nearest the right corner. Uh -huh. Maybe tight. So it could have been worse. Nobody would have begrudged him that shot, but he's not out of the woods yet. No, it's going to cost him. Oh, well, very unexpected. Simple blue. Now, oh, this is where you really do you need to punish the mistake and make Trump think about that shot. Doesn't really want to play for the black. Although, it would go on the blue spot. <laughs> uh, I think he may have been better playing for the black. So, just a safety. Yellow ball. Get that cue ball tight to the ball cushion. Sullivan, one. And that's pretty good. Very frustrated, though, to only get one point from that opportunity. That very unexpected miss by Trump on the blue.
got very close to the pot, but playing that cue ball back down the table, just in case he did miss the pot. But it was a handy middle pocket bump there. A nicely found path back to Borg. To good safety. So he's earned the chance. Another chance in this frame. Just travelled a little bit too far for the red, closest to the right corner pocket. This is certainly a tester with the rest. Yeah, good shot. It was a tester. Seven. He could play a little cannon to the red and the pink. Doesn't have to, can just drop it in. Eighteen. Now, is he on a red? A couple of inches slower, and he's on an easy red to the corner. I was always struggling to get Sullivan. prime Two. position in that visit to the table, O'Sullivan, and it's hard to keep it going when you have to keep retrieving shots. Not easy. Yeah, it was just a couple of inches out, wasn't it? Just a fraction slower. He's on choice of reds. And now it's Trump at the table. Meanwhile, Barry Hawkins is the latest player through. He's beaten Anthony Hamilton by four frames to one. Just the one half century from the Hawk this evening, but he has started this season in superb form. Just seemed to drift to the right slightly, the blue. But he played it in such a way that he was blocking the pocket and he missed it.
So quite a scrappy frame in contrast to the first two. Of course, Trump made a century in the opener and then a half century on his way to taking a 2-0 lead. This was a very difficult shot. Trump has made a couple of errors in this frame, not least the blue that he missed off its spot early in the frame, but O'Sullivan hasn't been able to take the chances he's had. Feels like a must-win frame for O'Sullivan. You're never out of a best of seven, even at 3-0 behind, but given that he's playing Judd Trump, that he's yet to register a win this season, badly needs to get a foothold here in this frame. He doesn't care how he does it. Looks pretty frustrated at the moment. Oh, how close was that? I don't think Trump can believe it didn't go in. Look at this again. I mean, how close do you have to get to these middle pockets? They're rel relentless. Touch that angle, they stay out. It's a clever shot though, wasn't it? Very clever. He would be covering that red, even if he did leave it over the hole. And of course he had the easy blue if it had gone in. Now O'Sullivan's got to try and hide that red. And could just touch that red that is closest to. Well, if he's covered the red to the middle, that's a very good safety. He's covered it. Now, can he hit this red thin enough to pot it? Still a very awkward table. Yeah, he wanted to be top side of the brown, so the cue ball was going into the bark area, which would have made the next red a lot easier. But because he's bottom side of the brown, coming away from the bark area, I don't think he can get to a red from the brown.
very difficult to get to a red from the blue. But not impossible. I thought he was going to play cushion first. So, a very bitty frame, just 14 points between them, with 59 still on the table. Sullivan, 11. O'Sullivan's highest break so far, just 22. Thin enough on the safety. Good chance here for Trump. Everything available. One good pot. But it's not there. Another let off. Trump's pot success ahead of this frame was close to 95%. Now it's down at 84, which is indicative of how error-strewn this frame has been. And continues oh, to be. Well, that was another very good chance, that, for Sean. He'll be very disappointed at missing that. Who's going to grab this frame by the scruff of the neck? If Trump wins it, then he's almost home and hosed. So Sullivan wins it, then just gives him something to build on. This is lethal, this pocket, by the way. Very difficult to pop balls in there, especially when they're near the cushion. And it could have been worse. Could have left something easier. Instantly forgettable in terms of quality, but so important in the context of the match, this third frame. Where's that red going? Oh. Another chance for Trump. the red and that's why he's canning the green Well, he is going to need the more difficult brown. Eight. Well, green looks to be the easier ball to get to the red. And if he could leave himself low on the red, he could have brought the brown into play. But not from there. Another chance Twelve. to bring the brown into play from the yellow. Needs to leave it somewhere where it is now. Fourteen. 
15. He needs the blue. Take a 3 0 lead in this in this match and he'll be sitting pretty. Twenty. Oh, he's come the wrong side of the brown, so Maybe just make sure of the brown, leave himself a long blue. 24. It's been a frame punctuated by a lot of mistakes, but this is the ball to put Trump three up with four to play. And no mistake. And Sean O'Sullivan again left to reflect on what might have been his handsome chances. But Trump has taken these colours nicely. A very long road back for the underdog now. Thirty-five, the frame. And that's the end of the frame. Not a frame high on quality, but Judge Trump take them. Sullivan to break. And Trump. Needs just one more frame. Started the evening with a century, made 54 in the second frame. The third was a very scrappy affair, but it was a nice clearance in the end of the colours for Trump. To put him in this very commanding position. Scott Donaldson to play the winner in the round of 64. So that cue ball, not close enough to the park cushion. And this red is definitely on to the corner. Yeah, good pot, and nicely held for the black. He'd only got one out of three so far. Well, that was a handy little rub there on the red. Eight. Just left him perfectly on this red to the left corner. And it looks like the, red, the black will go. Twenty-two. Still got another four reds there that he can take. Twenty-three. Always nice to build a little lead in the frame that you need to win. Just try and leave a nice angle on the black each time to get to the next red. And now a chance to open more reds up. He could either play it with screw or top spin. And that's nudged another couple out.
46. Forty-seven. Wrong side of the blue. And as Philip mentioned earlier, it makes so much difference to coming back towards the reds. Everything's simple. Now he needs a, a pretty good shot here. No danger. Now I may have to play for the red to the right middle. A little straight on the black. 60. Choice of two reds. And these are the only two reds he's going to need. 61. Well, now he may have to disturb the reds because He's not straight enough on the black to play for that right into the boat corner or the middle. All on the shot. And it's bounced. And this red is all he needs. Take him into the next round. As Philip said, he'll play Scott Donaldson. That'll be a tough game. Sean O'Sullivan has had a few chances this evening but hasn't been able to put anything substantial together in the way of a break. Just 22, his best. It's not easy when you've been on a losing streak, as O'Sullivan has at the start of this season, and then you're faced with having to try and topple one of the modern greats of the game. And Trump now, barring snookers, will be through. Has it got the legs? Not quite. Trump, 68. Yeah, one snooker required. a nice little flick there on the red on the brown it would have been nicely on the easy red that's closest to the corner just adding things up but he can take the blue but he needed to pop the red And that's it. A good night's work for Judd Trump. He started superbly with a century. 919th of his career. The 18th this season, Six. which just shows that he's been in good touch. Seven. By his stellar standards, last season was at times frustrating, but let's not forget he won the Masters, one of the biggest events in the game for a second time and having set such extraordinary standards for himself a couple of seasons ago with those six titles as Joe mentioned very very difficult to maintain that sort of winning form but Trump is one of the greatest talents this sport has ever seen and it's only a matter of time before he's back in the winner's enclosure in ranking events the Turkish Masters in the spring of last year was his last success so he's overdue one, could be this week. And still trying to entertain, nudging that red off the cushion. Wants to get them all, just to entertain the crowd. And we may see some special shots shortly. 
Thirty. <laughs> and that's what I was saying. Use of the middle middle pocket bump. Judd Trump, 37. 37 seals the deal for Judd Trump. In the end, a very comfortable victory. Not at his brilliant best throughout, but he still made a century. Sean O'Sullivan couldn't lay a glove on him, really. And Trump moves serenely into round two here at the English Open by four frames to nil. He'll play Scott Donaldson next. So Trump safely through. Of course, there's plenty of other snookers still ongoing.